In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the process that went into building a new step up jump at my local indoor skate park. Purely as entertainment though, not as a how to video. Before anybody asks, this was all filmed before the corona quarantine rules went in effect. Everything from the design to the amount of wood we'd need to all the measurements were put on paper before we started. So once we had our template transitions made, we used those as a guideline to cut all the other ones we'd need. To make sure every single one is a copy of the other, we milled them down so everything would be just as smooth. For this project, we'd be needing a lot of different transitions. So it was a matter of repeating the process over and over and over again. The old setup was built for the Dutch National Skateboarding Competition and we felt it did not really fit the size or speed of the park, so it had to go. Note to self, before stepping on any transitions, make sure the wood is still screwed in place. Nobody likes a workplace accident. I often say the build quality at Skateland is second to none as far as indoor skate parks go in the Netherlands. And seeing as all the metal trim is welded together to prevent any sharp edges, well, that just gives me a reason to bring out the angle grinder. Who doesn't love a good old spark? By the end of the morning on day one, we had everything taken apart and it was time to frame up all those transitions. I don't know if you feel the same way, but I just love seeing ramps unfinished like that. Makes you appreciate all the work that you end up just never seeing again. The ultimate spacing of the ramp, as far as distance goes, is always a tricky thing to figure out. We had something in mind to begin with, but we ended up moving it around until we found the distance we thought would work best. Luckily, we had a great group of riders down there that were all giving their own input, so eventually it worked out. So when I had left on day one, some of the guys had kept going for a few hours. Seeing the progress on day two was amazing. My focus that day, however, would be mostly on extending the quarter after the jump, considering you'd have way too much speed for how small it was. On day two, we also started with the metal trim. It's something we do when the second layer of wood is on the ramps, so the third layer can be made to sit flush. We've reached the end of day two and the quarter extension is looking pretty good, as is the rest of the ramp at this point. Most metal was fitted, although day three would need a lot of finishing touches. Speaking of day three, I didn't really turn on my camera until later that day, but we had a lot of the third and final layer of wood on there at this point. As you might have noticed, the final layer goes on diagonally. It may take a little bit more measuring and cutting, but the end result rides a lot more smoother. By this point, a lot of us were running out of energy, and by the looks of it, Levi was running a bit low too. Ramps were almost finished though. I had to leave early that day, so I wasn't there to see the first few people try to jump, but I made sure to come back a few days later. And this is the end result. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And also, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. But until then, see you guys next time.